Good morning, crew. Happy holidays. It's Wednesday, December 6th, and we're back here to open another package. I will tell you that this is a very special package because it's something I had custom made for you. But before we get on with that, we need to talk about the fun and games. The bingo word for today is notions, and I'll tell you why. There's a connection to package number six because this is a collaboration and the person I worked with on this item is someone who like me loves notions because I like tools that make my sewing and quilting better and easier. Alrighty, so the word of the day is notions, but let's see what's in number six. Don't mix it up with day nine. Day nine has a line underneath it, okay? We're opening number six today and here we go. Let's see what's in it. Paper. Hmm, must be a pattern. I'm opening it up and it says Michelle's Christmas Block Star Keeper. And it's been designed by Modern Blended Quilt Susan Madu from Calgary, Alberta, <clears throat> a Canadian modern pattern designer, one of our favorite instructors who works with us at Water Girl Quilt Co. And I had promised you all that I wanted a pattern in the advent box designed by me. I started working on that and I came to the realization that there are a lot of people who explain things better than I do that could explain the pattern because I find it's not hard for me to design one but putting it into a language that you will all understand is hard to do. And so I went to my friend Susan Madu and I said, Susan, will you help me design a special block for our advent box that will reflect my favorite colors, the brightness that I enjoy in life, and the fact that I love Christmas. And so here we have this beautiful modern Christmas star block for you. Susan is going to be posting some of her photos for you, showing you some things she's done with this block, like making table runners by making more blocks, playing with it to design different size quilts, and so on. So this is a 17 page pattern, just like all of Susan's patterns. It's very well illustrated in color. It's printed on beautiful thick quality paper so it'll be durable because you're going to want to keep reusing it and making more. Um, Susan designed it for me using Northcott solids because I really do love the quality of their fabrics. They're a Canadian company and we sell their solids. So if you want to make one in these colors you can easily grab those ones from us but it's a great opportunity to pull from your stash because we've been hearing you've got a little bit of fabric hoarded and you should start cutting up some more of it. So what is this beautiful block and what does it look like? Well, there it is, crew. Isn't that pretty? That is Michelle Christmas star block. Um, Susan made this one for me. I love it. It's all in my favorite colors of teals and it's got a gray and a low volume. So you're gonna have fun with this block. It is designed with Studio 180 tools in mind, but you do not need those tools to follow the pattern. But if you have a magic wand and a tucker trimmer, grab them because they're gonna be so useful for squaring up your quarter square triangles, your half square triangle blocks, and so on. So have fun with this. I love the modernness of how Susan inserted the um, gray pieces here and over on the other side, the pale gray. And I really hope you enjoy making my star block. Thank you, Modern Blended Quilts, for designing something that really resonates with me. Now, go to our private Facebook group and show us your fabric pull. What are you going to use to make your Christmas star block keeper? And tomorrow, I'm going to show you a little bit of more tips about it and talk about it a bit more. So, remember, bingo card, word of the day, notions, and go to the Facebook group and show us what fabric pull you're going to do to make your Christmas star block. And I'll see you back here tomorrow on December 7th. Happy holidays from Water Girl Quilt Co.